Hello, welcome back. We are going to see membership in detail. When you speak about membership in ASP.NET, you have three membership options. Windows, Forms and Passport. Let's just run it first. And the default membership option in ASP.NET is the Windows authentication, which is mainly used in intranet scenarios. Here the username and password is stored in your Windows, say in Windows 2000 or Windows 2003. And based on that you, Windows username and password only you are logging on to the ASP.NET application. But that's, that can be used only in internet, in intranet scenarios and not in public facing internet scenario. So the next authentication type is the uh, forms authentication. So here only you can see the authentication mode is equal to Windows. So you need not manually edit the web.config as far as 2005 is concerned or the ASP.NET 2 is concerned. You have a wonderful tool called ASP.NET Configuration Tool. And one more thing, uh, password authentication is also there, but that's not much of use in uh, real programming because it is mainly used in the Microsoft family of technologies like Amazon and then the groups, Microsoft groups, Hotmail and the like. So I'm going to the security option. This tool is actually a project that is placed in the C colon Windows Microsoft.NET Framework Website Administration Tool project. And on to that project it is passing the physical location of the current project. That is happening behind the scene. So you need not bother about all those things. Just for the sake of information. And here I'm setting the authentication type as from the internet. Done. So there are two side effects for setting this property. One is in the web.config now the authentication type will be forms. Plus it will be creating a new for project, a new database under app data folder called ASP.NET DB. So by default for this option to work you should have SQL Server 2005 installed in your machine. But it is very much possible to port this database to multiple databases using a tool called ASP.NET underscore rich SQL that we'll be seeing at the end of the series. So it is automatically creating all the database required for authentication, authorization, profiling, personalization and the like. So a wonderful place for learning about all these technologies. It is coming packed with not only tables but also views, stored procedures and the like. So in a wonderful repository of data. So we are coming back to the default page. So these are the stored procedures. For example, membership, create user. So everything is open. Not everything, a lot of things are open. This is a wonderful team, ASP.NET team headed by Scott Guthrie who's very active in the community. So I'm again going back to the web.config. I'm going to create a new user. Security. Create user. So you'll get a form with the create user wizard. This is basically a control. Here there are certain prerequisites. It is expecting a strong password. Many times Microsoft, as a part of making the project easy to use, have created a lot of security holes. For example, you can use, you can create SQL Server without, with a blank password. So it is easy to use, but it is opening a security hole. So Microsoft is interested in giving only expecting only strong password from now onwards. So you have here you have to give a strong password. Of course you can disable that functionality but 
default strong password. So here I am giving a strong password, one alphanumeric character plus more than seven characters. But it's also having the compare validation and all. So I can create users like this. I'm coming back to the form. Here I'm placing one login status control, which is basically a toggle control. If you are not logged in, it will be having not a text called login. And once you once you log in, it will become log out. And I'm creating one more form called login form. And here I'm placing the login control. Let's run the application. Login. I am redirected to the login page. Here I am giving the password. So I am redirected back to the default page. If the, it's correct login, otherwise it will say it's not correct. Now it has become logged out. It means I am already logged in. Now we want to see the username. So here I'm creating the login name control. Here I'm placing the login name control. Again running it. Now the shell is gone. Now we want hello also to be getting concatenated onto the login name. So I can give hello. I'm running once more. Hello, Shelby. Thank you.